This is the abstract video for our upcoming Crypto 2022 talk about quadratic multi-party randomized encodings that go beyond the honest majority privacy threshold and some of their applications. This talk is based on a joint work between Benny Applebaum, Yuval Ishai, Arpita Patra, and myself. Our work is in the field of secure multi-party computation. This is a concept introduced in the late 80s where several parties, each one with its own private input, wish to jointly compute some functionality of their inputs. And of course, they wish to do it privately without leaking information about their private inputs. The way it's done is usually with protocols, where the parties communicate with each other over a number of rounds, and in the end receive their functionalities output. Privacy in protocols means that every coalition of up to two parties learns nothing beyond the output of the functionality. We focus on information theoretic MPC, where the adversaries are computationally unbounded, which means the simulation of the adversary's view must be either statistic, statistical or perfect. And we focus on passive adversaries, which must adhere, adhere to the protocol and not deviate. Before Talking about our work, let us set a motivating example, the client-server model, which was introduced by Barakol et al. In this model, the parties are divided into two groups, clients, which hold the inputs and receive the outputs, and servers, which hold no inputs and receive no outputs, and only assist the clients in computing their functionality. The interaction pattern resembles a distributed variant of FHE. The protocol carries over in two routes. In the first round, the clients send, send some message to the servers. The servers then do some local computation and return a result to the clients. And then the clients can receive their functionalities output. And our first motivating question was, can we achieve a protocol in this model that is secure with an honest majority of the servers and up to T malicious clients, where we focus on T larger than half, so beyond honest majority. And this question is open even in the simplest case of three clients and three servers. Now let us move on to our model, our main model, 2MPRE, which was introduced by Apple et al. This model is highly non-interactive and consists of a single call to some large degree to functionality. And this model is interesting because Apple et al. showed that, for example, you can take a T-private 2MPRE and compile it into a client-server protocol that is secure with an honest majority of the servers and up to T malicious clients. Unfortunately, all known constructions of 2MPRE are restricted to the honest majority setting, so the privacy threshold is always less than half. And our main question was, can we construct a 2MPRE with a privacy threshold larger than half? As it turns out, the answer is positive. In our main theorem, we have constructed the 2MPRE with a privacy threshold of two thirds. As an immediate corollary, we receive a 2MPRE that is fully private in the three-party settings, since two-thirds of three parties gives us full privacy. This corollary immediately solves our first motivating question in the three client settings, since we have a fully private 2MPRE. Furthermore, we show an equivalence theorem between 2MPRE and other models that also rely on the OT functionality. This equivalence gives us new results in those models based on our new construction of 2MPRE. Also, we show a surprising connection between 2MPRE and a protocol in the active security model. Let us have a quick overview of our main theorem proof. The proof is in two steps. In the first step, which we call round collapsing, we show that allowing a plain model conversation to happen before the degree to functionality of 2MPRE um, adds no strengths. So we show how to compile a protocol in this plane and quadratic model to a 2MPRE. And in the second step, we of course construct a protocol in this new plane and quadratic model with a desired privacy threshold. Thank you.